Hi, my name is Matt Beckenham. I come from Greater Things International. Um, I'm a long time friend of Grace Point uh, Church and obviously a long time friend of Rob and Marguerite. How good are they? Uh, they've asked me to, to do a three to five minute talk uh, around the concept of more than we can imagine, that Ephesians 3.20. Uh, conversation that Paul often draws us to to start thinking and dreaming beyond what we've seen and I think this last couple of years with COVID well that's beyond what most people have dreamed or imagined uh, but things have been occurring inside of this space which I just want to show you and connect some dots for you to show that in the Bible this is not an uncommon thing but what is common in the Bible is the Father keeps dropping into these conversations in profound ways to draw us into the place of the kingdom. Now think about this, all the way back in the book of Judges, you've got Gideon and he's there threshing wheat in a wine press and he's doing that because he is scared for his life. He is hiding. Fear is a conversation inside the community. Fear is a conversation inside of the nation. What does God do about Gideon who is there threshing wheat inside of a wine press? Well, has this most extraordinary moment where the angel of the Lord turns up and calls Gideon mighty hero. I wonder how many of you guys or what you guys would do if an angel of the Lord turned up and spoke that over you today as you're watching this very video. What would your response be? Well, Gideon's response was, what are you talking about? If you are God, where have you gone? Where are the mighty miracles? Look at the land around us. We are in fear. Is that not where so much of Australia seems to be sitting right now? Encounters with the Father are not rare. Encounters with the Father are actually quite commonplace. And inside of the Bible, we see them uh, reported and recorded regularly. Uh, inside of our own worlds, it's again times we think, gee, we'd love to have a moment like Gideon. And I reckon the Father's like, well, what's stopping you? I want relationship with you. I, I want to hang out. I want to connect with you. And so here's Gideon. He's inside of this uh, wine press threshing wheat. And he, all of a sudden he has his Ephesians 3.20 moment where God blows his mind and shows to him something that is beyond his comprehension. But what he's looking for is for Gideon to walk in this new identity that has been spoken over him. What is that identity? Well, God called him a mighty hero. What's God calling you? Who are you? When the Father speaks your name over you, know this, it's not just a word, it's a part of his creation. You have, are known and you are named in the kingdom of God through the designer and he has crafted you. He has made you. And through that design, the plan will follow. So here's Gideon. He's the mighty hero. What's he going to do? Well, he's going to draw together a nation to over, overthrow an opposing nation. Now, that may not be your call, but I want to say this, if you're sitting here listening to this, the Father has named you and you are known in the kingdom of God. This year, it's time for us to walk out our identity. It's time for us to discover our name, who we are, our story. What has the Father been doing? This is our testimony, but this is how we are known. Finally, if you know who you are, you will be able to discover what you're here on the planet to do. And I think that's your mantle. Your mantle is what the Father is doing in and through you. May this season you discover and see what the Holy Spirit has been dropping inside of your spirit, how he has led you to overcome all of these things of your life and what he's leading you into now. Bless you guys, and I hope this helps you.